uh, information that should be gathered. So to me, it's when, if you do a stakeholder analysis, then you will be able to identify who are the key stakeholders. I, I want to add on to that, that you also have the financial aspect of it. So if you look at the financial aspect, if you want to stop or to reduce bycatch, you're going to cut incomes. You're not only going to affect the social aspects of, of people. Uh, if you, so if you want to take away subsidies, or reduce the subsidies, or the government says we can't afford subsidies anymore, as they have done in the past, then it will affect the, the income to the company or to the, the livelihoods of the people. So, in another sense, you don't only need those aspects, but you need to understand the, the financial business model of, of the trawler, all as that, that you're working with, because as Bundit pointed out, you have big ones, small ones, medium-sized ones. So they're all going to be affected differently because of their financial model that they use. Now, the first one, not example, this is the real one that from our colleagues last week, the Indonesia one. And I would like to have the Indonesian colleagues' uh, viewpoint uh, to take a look take a look on this very closely and if you have any comment or suggestion please do so so for Indonesia we have three goals the first goal is focusing on the appropriate, appropriate fishing technology which to reduce bycatch okay that's and the economic benefit seems the seems to be same as uh, total level management the colleagues and this is the strategy that they follow so Indonesia team you have to take a look at this closely because you maybe have more idea about what should be look like so that from now on we can move forward with a further operational plan or further actions that we just need to be done okay regarding this if you look at the presentation of the Indonesia fishery management issue, you can see that that one very important issue that related to the the uh, fight against the IUU fishing activity. One of that is the improving of the fishing license in Indonesia. It's very important related to the the uh, fishing access. So it may also related to uh, the goal number three that would be addressed in the strategy. This is a very important and uh, uh, new strategy that Indonesia have, have been doing. On. Is, um, as you see, just a general kind of working team, but as it comes to the real um, implementation and doing the work, maybe we may diversify or... Um, um, Association use do you foresee it as like a one association for uh, all of the products or do you foresee it as by, by commodity? J so to promote, uh, in a way, this we meant by, uh, for example, we are learning from um, Australian prawn industry to uh, help our industry uh, in terms of um, the value adding kind of um, doing MSC certification, that's, um, that's what we meant by that. That is... Uh, PNG for your qualification. So, I, I see feeling like a Susana. No? But I, I already been to Papua New Guinea. We discussed on it about the, some kind of promotion of trawl fisheries. When you said promotion of for officially product. So it means your existing products or you would like to have more products. The question is, do you see a difference in your in your mind and in your project between what we call bycatch management and troll management? 
Are they the same thing or are they different things? I think this is a, an important question for you to answer. These resources and, and operations are the same. Basically, they are both. They are the same. So, uh, if you look at the level of uh, goals, actually the, the two goals there that I fuse is a higher level goal. So, it's actually this goal is, is a strategy for goal, that th those two goals. So, we just try to concentrate on this one goal. See? The next one is just to build up or formulate win-win solutions for everybody to endorse the plan. And I think those, the, the actions that you will be doing will take the rest on what you will input in terms of uh, you consider the uh, ecological well-being as well as uh, the uh, human well-being of it. As a role of it, uh, the great act to only to go. Uh, sustainable fishery ecosystem survey. Uh, the strategy is uh, increase awareness of stakeholders on sustainable fishery management master plan. Uh, the strategy two is enhance stakeholder participation in fishery management for courts access. Uh, the, the goal two is decentralize fishery management to support by cat direction is enhanced. Okay, we have uh, uh, many goals, three, uh, three, uh, three goals, but uh, we just uh, we have the limited time, so we we go focus only to make a uh, only one uh, strategy. Uh, the first one we are uh, uh, going to consolidate the best in terms of uh, providing the alternative livelihood, the active coordination and that the cooperation between uh, the NGO <coughs> to support the technical assistance and also to propose the uh, capacity building. And third one, we are going to transfer the, the function and responsibility to sustainable uh, uh, organization to implement the plan. Because we are having goals which is already specified. We already have a tentative strategies that the team has specified. And from today onward, we will have to look into the actions to be taken. And action to be taken is to be your future plan. What are the things that you want to do in order to accomplish your country goals and the remix goal? Opinion is for each country to set three goals. A human well-being goal, an ecosystem well-being goal, and a good governance goal. Because this is a very balanced way of, of, of looking at working in, in our sector. Of course, <coughs> if, if we take the view of, if we take the one from the, the Philippines, uh, where they have, um, they just have the one goal at the moment, the management plan, um, that is a where was it? Here we go. Um, that is a governance goal. Okay. You did have at the very beginning. You had an ecosystem goal. I've even got it on my computer, and uh, and a human well-being goal. I hope you will consider um, putting them back in. But um, but anyway, that's that's the framework that I think we can use to flavor this project, give it an EAFM flavor through this kind of strategic goal planning. Uh, I will give you some tools to think further about how we are going to make use of this data, uh, perhaps also linked to what Susanna has presented. Not in detail, indicators, but more on the process of thinking, all right? Not the indicators, develop the tools for data collection and also calculation of the measurements, all right? So this part is very important because data is used for planning and also for evaluation, all right? It's also more important that the data that you collect is not only standalone data, so from today, we will not think about the standalone data. This means that any data we just collect is no longer that way. It should be the data, the information that we gather 
according to our strategies and goals. We don't need to worry other data, but whatever data in relation to our strategies and goals, we must we must concentrate. All right, we must concentrate. So that is the importance of the the data in order to link it to the objectives and goals and strategies. The second point that I would like to address to you is the the connection nature or the cascading nature of data connectivity. From today, program evaluation, monitoring evaluation should be from day one. So on day one of the project planning, we have to make sure that all the items that we are talking about, it has connectivities, whether from top to down or down to top. So data connect to the indicators, indicators connect to the strategy, strategy connect to the goals, the goals connect to the remix goal. This cannot separate into the we call the cascading nature of the of the information. Now, this is very important because we are too busy to concentrate on how to make sure this has cascades that very well or is made link very well. So that's why I'm presenting with, with a very simple tool and to show you why it is so important to make the link between indicators and data. So this is the one. So after we identify whether indicators goal, goals of goals indicators or strategies indicator or other indicators, we are having indicators. And these are for example the fishery indicators that you are familiar with and also the socio-economic indicator that gives example by Susanna this morning. That are the indicators that you pick up. And, and they already picked up some in the previous weeks in relation to that. So we need to just refine it, all right? And after that, after you, you know the indicators, now you tend to know, ah, what do they need for data, right? So once you know indicator, you need you know now the what data set to determine the partnership. There are two sets. There are two sets. Okay. The first one is the willingness of participation or willingness of partnership of the private sector, and the second set is the benefits of participation. For example, all right. So you believe that, you believe that these two, all right, that's why you break down into the smaller, uh, smaller objects. And after you know that the public-private partnership can be determined by this data set, the willingness, then you can break them down into parameters or variables. Life is very easy. <laughs> what and so what? Okay? Life is with a simple question. Then so what? Only four, four words. What, so what, then what, now what? Now, what and so what? And then later on, then what? Now what? Okay? <laughs> right? Right, Philip? Is that right? Now what did you do with the B-Rebix so far? 
That's what we would like to read from your flip charts. Okay. We know that our colleagues, some of the colleagues already presented on those days, on 24th of April. But we would like the information that repackaged bullet points and presented by the team again. Just make a bullet point, no, no need PowerPoint. What you have done so far, bullet points into the remix project implementation in the previous phase. that can help you so feel free to raise your hand but if you are not raising your hand we don't know where to go so we have no goal Awareness, gaps, awareness of chief executive, and ini awareness of apa nama dia major, major stakeholders lah, major, major bantau bersih, mah key, key stakeholders key, key stakeholders. Yang kelangan ada. Adakah pak? Incentive, incentive, incentive um, for what? For the industry, uh, in terms of you know, uh, MSA certification, uh, you've done the pre-assessment already. Ah, le, ni kating ni le.